Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mines and let's make the pork barbecue ribs. Let's start by rinsing the ribs under the cold water. Pork ribs are so delicious and this might make vegetarians consider a life change. In this video, I removed the membrane from the back of the ribs for more flavor infusion. But this is optional. I've tried cooking one with it and it turned out just fine. Let's cook this in a casserole for an hour and a half, but you may use, of course, a pressure cooker if you have one. Here are the ingredients. Half cup chopped garlic, one tablespoon ground black pepper, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon smoked paprika, or any paprika, one cup pineapple juice, one cup tomato ketchup, one cup soy sauce, one cup brown sugar, let's mix all together and let's leave it for an hour and a half till soft and tender. It should look like this after an hour and a half. One tip to make it juicier. Place some ice cubes and let it simmer for a few minutes. Place the pork ribs in a grilled pan. If you don't have one, any nonstick pan will do. Let's add the cornstarch slurry in the remaining sauce until it thickens. I base it to the pork ribs to make it tastier. The pan still sizzles with savory remnants, a hint of smoky aroma lingering in the air. Turn on the other side and unbase it with the remaining sauce. After the ribs have worked their magic in the pan, it's time for the veggies to steal the spotlight. Add a pat of butter, letting it melt into the pan, infusing our veggies with irresistible richness. Let's now have the veggies. Corn, green peas, and carrots eagerly join the party ready to soak up all that perky goodness. As they sizzle, it's a medley of flavors. Season with salt and pepper if you like, off you go into a world of veggie delight, where every bite satisfies the flavorful cooked pork ribs. Serve with rice or simply with the veggies. Please like and subscribe. Ayo ayo!